Greetings, everybody! t Prar once again. I'm already excited, because this episode can only mean one thing. We're finally visiting a new location. And not just any, one that's been looming over us ever since it was first mentioned in Season 2. So, without further ado, let's jump right into Season 6, Episode 20. Viva Las Pegasus! Let's get to it! The map is sending us where? Las Pegasus? Whoa! AJ and Flutters are on a map mission? Yes! Oh man, you guys don't waste time getting me hyped up, do ya? Haha! <laughs> but Las Pegasus is a wild vacation spot! It's just one big party! All oh, those lights and sounds, not to mention the crowds. Oh, just the thought of it is overwhelming! Keep it together, sweetie. It doesn't seem like either of your cups of tea, but I have total faith you wouldn't have been called unless you were the perfect ponies for the job. Well, the map hasn't failed yet. It can't just be a loud, obnoxious party all the time, right? Something tells me otherwise, AJ. Applejack, it isn't as bad as we thought. Whoa, boy. You're right. It's worse. Holy crap! This place looks like a blast! But definitely not something to appeal to AJ or Flutters. Hey, I've seen you before in Manhattan. Wowza, wowza! It really does, doesn't it? If Twilight trusts the map, then so do I. All we have to do is solve our friendship problem and get back home. Best to stay optimistic. Of course, we have to find it first. And make sure to experience our signature show, Pony Fantastic. Trust me when I say you've never seen anything like it. Unparalleled acrobatics, unique animal antics. Your only regret will be that you didn't see it sooner. And so, in other words, Cirque du Soleil. Wow, get a load of that guy. Wow, this Gladman sure seems impressive. Well, uh, it is a little embarrassing. But the crowd seemed to like it. <laughs> Mr. Gladmane, I presume? Mr. Gladmane? Just Gladmane will do. And it's a pleasure to meet actual cohorts of the Princess of Friendship. Thank cohorts? You. That's Thank not you. the word I would use, buddy. Do you know who we are? I'm what you might call a friendship connoisseur. So naturally, I'm familiar with the friends of the great Twilight Spark, Applejack, Fluttershy. It's an honor to have you here. <laughs> well, to admit you're not gosh, the thanks. I expected to find in Las Pegasus. <laughs> well, my guests may be looking for lights, music, and parties, but working hard and making friends is how I turn this hotel into what it is today, and how I plan to make it even better. <laughs> you're a good guy, Gladmane. Me I like you. Wise ponies may say the folks that come here are customers, but I can't help but thinking of each and every one of you as friends. That's why there's a three-for-one special on Apple Fritters in the cafe for the next hour. Enjoy! Sweet deal! Would you two like to take a tour of the place? I'm just about to do my rounds and check on my friends who work here. I'd be happy to. Do you have a friendship problem to find? Lead the way, Mr. Gladmane. Just Gladmane now, you hear? We hear. And don't worry, Flutters, we'll find it. Ah! Gladmane, you're just in time to see my newest move. Hi, hey, who are you? I, I'm glad to have a star like you working for me. I'll tell you what. Oh, do make me blush. Now watch this. Wow. Stella. Uh -huh. oh, oh. Mr. Gladman himself is here. Let's run through the whole routine. And now, who might you be? Bus for old me. I'm just going to keep on giving a tour to my new friends, Applejack and Fluttershy. Howdy. Hi. If Hello. This pony calls you friend. You're welcome backstage anytime. I owe him my entire career. Oh shit. Well, let's leave the artists to their work. I've got to know who does Gladman's like voice. He's perfect. Here. 
never seen a pink prairie dog before. Wow, neither have I. The folks that come here to have a unique experience. Uh-huh. And we love him for it. Whoa. With Gladmaiden's help, we've been able to take care of all these little guys. Siegfried and Roy, I'm guessing? Good way. Oh, glad you like it. Um, Fluttershy? <laughs> oh, Flutters. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong around here at all. Seems perfectly peaceful to me. problem in Lost Pegasus, it'd be like trying to find a needle in a stack of needles. But every pony seems to be getting along just fine. Ladies and gentle ponies, despite what my competition might say... Wait a minute. I know that voice. There is nothing more entertaining than the astounding acrobatics in Gladmain's Pony Fantastic. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Superiorly entertaining present of the show-stopping exotic animal act that Pony Fantastic includes. Of all the ponies to show up in a place like this, they sure do. Flim and flame. Good lord, why did it have to be them? Except to say that if you were to consider buying your tickets from me, I might consider offering them to you at a substantial discount. But I've always thought you get what you pay for, and in my humble opinion, these tickets are of value at twice the price. Don't Wait, this price they're competing against each other? Take you what? <laughs> Charlatan? How dare you? <laughs> how dare I? Yes, how dare you? Is this part of another con? Or did something really happen to these two? You don't suppose we've been brought here to help them? Absolutely not! After what they put AJ through? I wouldn't like that idea either. I know you and the rest of the Apple family have had your issues with Flim and Flam in the past. To say the least. Having trouble and solving a friendship problem is important, no matter who's having it. Well, well said, darling. It's true. For any pony but them. Some wounds just don't heal. I'm sorry you had to see that. I don't know why, but those two have been fighting ever since they got here. I thought giving them these jobs might help, but I, I guess it just made matters worse. Trust so you hired them? I know those ponies, and you're better off with them apart. Two of them together will cheat the hooves right out from under you. If not with cider, yeah, then with right. tonic. Flam's such a show pony, and Flam has such a head for business. Why, if they ever did work together, they'd be running this place in two shakes. I wouldn't put Speaking it past them to try. To get back to work. Y'all enjoy your stay now, you hear? Thanks, Gladmane. I'm pretty sure we should help Flam and Flam. And I'm pretty sure there's another friendship problem here, and I'm gonna search this resort top to bottom till I find it. Typical stubborn Applejack. I hope you didn't travel all the way from Ponyville to try to get me to reconcile with my no-account brother. Brother? I don't believe I have one of those. No, I already know what he thinks of me. All show and no substance. Well, if he's so smart, he should have no trouble becoming a big success on his own. Ooh, why, he's the greatest sales pony that ever lived, of course. Just ask him, he'll tell you all about it. Sheesh, sure what the hell happened to spark this? We just sat down and talked to each other. I'm never speaking to that pony again! Good grief. Mm. Poor Flutters. Loving the look of this arcade. What the? Ruining my soul. It isn't just your show, and I'm improving it. You don't pull a rabbit out of a hat on the trapeze. That's the point, to give the audience something they've never seen before. Acrobatic magic. Ta -da! Wow, impressive. Genres, and it's awesome. I'd go see it. Shouldn't some pony do something? <laughs> They've been doing this since they started working here. Too bad, really, if they ever stopped shouting at each other, we could take the show on tour. They'd be this guy's a dead ringer for Scooter from the Muppets. Me. Awesome! <laughs> now that sounds like a real friendship problem. Maybe, but you should still help Flutters, too. Stop! What are you doing? 
It's supposed to be a pink prairie dog pyramid. It's a little ancient. You said a tower. Why do you keep changing everything? I'm not changing anything. You said pyramid. You are driving me crazy. Man, there's disputes going on all over the place. We used to, but we just can't seem to agree on anything anymore. We used to perform all over Equestria, but if we can't agree on a new act, we might as well stay at Gladmains forever. What's going on around here? Two friendship problems in the same theater? Now we're talking. I guess we're not just dealing with single you problems anymore. That's three big friendship problems all in the same place. Well, I don't count Flim and Flam since those two not being friends isn't a problem. It certainly isn't for Gladman. Sounds like he's better off with them fighting. Can't and deny that. The other ponies' problems seem to be good for Gladmane, too. Both the trapeze show and the animal act would be better off if they left, but every pony's so busy arguing that they can't. Hmm. I don't know, but I'm starting to think we should find out. Something fishy's going on wants here. Every pony to get along. He's the nicest, most genuine pony I've ever met. Did the director put you up to this? Uh, no. I tell you, if Gladmane is your friend, you are welcome backstage. But if you are speaking of him poorly, you leave. Gladmane is the kindest, most gentle, most compassionate pony I've ever known. My problem is, is with him. him. Something's telling me the problem's Gladmane. I just can't figure it. The only pony who benefits from all this feuding is Gladmane. But by all accounts, he's the best friend any of these ponies have. Well, Bernard, that adorable bunny from the Acrobats hat, claims that every morning, Gladmane tells the director that the star wants control of the show. And every afternoon tells the star that the director wants to get rid of her. But neither is true. So he's actively putting them at odds with each other to benefit his business. Diabolical! Each trainer thinks the other is doing it. So all his talk about friendship is just a load of applesauce. He's getting them all to fight with each other on purpose. That son of a bitch! I believe that's what he's doing. There must be a way to trick him into telling the truth. That might be a tall order. He was a pony who knew how to trick a trickster. Aha! Or maybe a pair of ponies? Flutters, I like the way you think. Yes, bringing Flim and Flam back together might be why we're here. Maybe. Looks like it to me. Sorry if I don't take the word of some pony off the street, even if that street is in Ponyville. But Gladmane is behind so many other friendship problems. How can you be sure he isn't the cause of yours? Because the only problem I have is standing right there. Same here, Buster. Do either of you even know what you're fighting over? Glad well, do you? That ex-brother of mine thinks I'm just a mouthpiece without a single good idea. Gladmane assured me this former fraternal foal here thinks I couldn't sell heat lamps to yaks. And you don't see the connection here? Why'd you believe Gladmane when he said you did? Why would he lie? Because he's afraid that the two of you together could move in and take over his resort. He's and afraid of competition. It, you know it's the absolute truth because you never lie. Exactly. I think it's time for a little payback. The cantaloupe two-step? Mm, we don't have the chickens. How about the boat to mare flare? Uh, my flare isn't what it used to be. Well, I guess it's good to have you guys back together. You're entitled to a free night's stay. And every pony here is a friend of mine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you thinking what I am? The high roller hustle. What's that? What now? Hmm, Sir Estes, when we're done, there won't be a pony in town who doesn't know the apple jackiest truth about Gladmane. That is, assuming you two are willing to help. What size gown do you wear? I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, what's all the fuss now? It's the grand matriarch of the rich family. Impossibly rich. Impossibly rich? Ponies in Equestria. Well, why didn't some pony tell me? You know how I like to give VIP guests my personal touch. Well, she's not exactly a guest. 
word is she's planning a resort of her own. Hang on a second. Is that Flutters in disguise? Really? And with her bits, she could take over the whole strip, hire away any pony she wants. Ooh, he's mad. I love it here. My good for nothing brother on the other hoof. Very crafty, Flynn. What an honor it is to have you at my humble Five Hook Resort. I'm sure Flam has done an excellent job showing you around, but nothing could beat a personalized tour from the main himself. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. You'll have to excuse Ms. Rich. She saves the energy other ponies spend talking out loud and uses it to make more money. Yep, that's totally Fluttershy. She'll love a personal tour. Say in uh, about an hour? Well, that sounds right pleasant. And if you can break away for a moment, Flam, I'd love to see you in my office so I can get ready. So far, so good, I guess. Are all of you sure this is a good idea? Wonderful oh, acting, darling. Gladmane is one fish that's hooked but good. I sure hope you two know what you're doing. Oh, don't you worry. When it comes to throwing ponies off their game, no two ponies do it better than us. Well, can't deny that. Hey there, boss. You're not looking too glad, glad man. So what do you want to see me about? Actually, there's something I want you to see. The grand plan. Every hotel on this strip is amazing as this one, and every one of them mine. Wow. And all it'll take is a little sales pony ship like this. Hey there, friends! Oh, if you think my resort is fantastic, wait till you see Pony Fantastic! Tickets are on sale now! Two for the price of one! Thank you! Thank you very much. Elvis now, is no signing off. Rich has probably been made you a tempting offer to come work for her. Well, uh, now that you mention it... And as your friend, I'd never tell you what to do. But no pony's gonna stand in the way of my plans, no matter how rich she is. And I sure wouldn't want you to end up on the losing side. Think you might consider staying here? Well, when you put it like that. They're coming! Alright, let's see how this goes. The jewel in my crown. Impossibly wants you to know she's very impressed, but doesn't think you can keep a resort of this caliber going for long. Oh, and why is that? <laughs> because you've got the best talents in the industry. What stops them from just leaving to join any competitor? Ooh, fair point. <laughs> well, you see, I have a trick for that, I must confess. <laughs> and it all has to do with how I handle my employees. Oh, here we go. of course and i treat every one of my employees with the kindness they deserve ah oh, crap baskets your secret <laughs> there's nothing else nope just friendship but you know all about friendship don't you Fluttershine. ah oh, crap he knew the whole time never try to con a con pony oh <laughs> You bastard. I'd have thought you'd hit the road by now. Whether we were able to fool you or not, you can't just go on keeping ponies from getting along. It's just mean. And dishonest. Now, maybe it is, but it's a meanness that works. Unlike your pathetic little ploy. I practically invented the high roller hustle. But I suppose I should be impressed. You're the only ponies to ever figure out the secret to my success. It takes a lot of work keeping every pony fighting, but as long as I keep them convinced that I'm their only friend, all of Las Pegasus will be mine. Oh, you can't trick a confession out of a pony like me. I am always one step ahead. You see this middle finger I'm holding up? Be thankful it's not the fist I want to punch you with, you son of a bitch! Well, you better check your hooves. Because you just stepped in a confession. Oh ho ho! No, no, wait, wait, wait. Did that sound okay? Never better. Good job, baby. Told us you'd see right through the fake rich pony bit, and that once you did, 
you wouldn't be able to resist gloating about it. This was all part of the plan. Genius! Ha <laughs> ha! I can explain everything. I think you've done enough of that, darling. <laughs> You're through, Gladmane. I don't believe we let him almost ruin our friendship and our act. Good luck finding another one. Wait! No! Yo, come back! Come on, I'm, not, I'm gonna be ruined! This is Gladman, yo! Come on, you can't do this! Sucks to be you. Gladman has left the building. Ha <laughs> ha! That was perfect! I guess the map wasn't on the freaks after all. And there's the glowing marks. With history with Grim and Glam, we never would have been so determined to find some pony else to help. And we never would have found out what Gladmane was doing. And if it weren't for you wanting to show even those two con ponies kindness, we never would have been able to trick the trickster. I'm proud of both of you. Pretty nice to finally put and you too, Flim and Flam. Skills to good use. In fact, we like to think of it as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Emphasis on the once. Oh jeez. While this establishment undergoes a slight change in management, my brother and I want to assure you that it remains the pinnacle of Las Vegas' entertainment, which is why we invite each and every one of you to experience the wonder of the Pony Fantastic Theater at half the normal cost of admission. And while you're appreciating this historic venue, totally devoid of performers of any kind, we invite you to use the wonder of your own imaginations to fill the space at no additional charge! <sighs> Some things never change. Man, oh man! That was great! We finally have Applejack and Fluttershy together on a map mission to Las Pegasus. And just like Las Vegas... It's clearly got it all. I'd love to check it out myself if I could. But I digress. Gladmane totally had me sucked in with his whole spiel about friendship. Joy goes to prove how good a con artist he really is. But then the truth started to reveal itself. And what an ugly truth it was. He's been causing feuds between the employees and performers of his hotel, while assuring them he's the best friend they have, so they don't leave which ensures that he stays ahead of the competition. Ironically, it took Flim and Flam, a pair of con artists themselves, to reveal his true colors. Kind of fitting, actually. AJ and Flutters' different approaches to the problem actually worked really well in their favor. Since AJ still didn't trust Flim and Flam, with good reason, she went to find other problems, and did find them, which led to the reveal of Gladmane being behind it all. And since Flores was kind enough to want to help out Flim and Flam, she gained their trust in exposing him. Now that's how you get the job done. And it was so cathartic to see Gladmane feeling so smug about thinking he had them beat, only to find out that that was all part of the plan. Now everyone knows what a sleazy scumbag he really is. Oh, how the mighty fall, my friends. And even though Flim and Flam went back to their old ways after the fact, I guess that's not something we can really help. Maybe someday we'll turn to more honest methods, but frankly, my hopes aren't high. An enjoyable, plot-twist-laden episode, all in all. Until next time, see ya!